Once upon a time, in a place far, far away, somewhere in South America, it's rumored, there was a little fishing village, and this is where Conquistador got his name. Good day, folks. Greg Bud from Bud's Baits here. Welcome to the African Lure Craftsman. Okay, so guys, what I've got here is my red, my crimson sort of color here. I've put it in there as it's mixed in the bottle. It's quite thick. I want to get a really sort of bright chin area. And then I'm going to thin it with a bit of thinners. And we're going to try and get a more opaque crimson down the belly and the tail of the lure here. So we'll start on the chin here. Starting upside down so I don't overspray. And just get that red onto there. Take it about that far, I'm going to turn the lure around. Looking good so far. About the same. Go back to the other side, get them to even up. Now, tackle it from the top, or the bottom should I say, but directly onto the airbrush. Get underneath the wire. Okay, now I'll thin it out a bit with the thinners. Just directly into the cup. Quite liberal with the thinners there. Get my little mixing screwdriver. Give this a test over here. Okay, we've thinned out a bit there. Now we're going to follow this down. Lightly, more distance between the lure and the airbrush. Just so we don't get rid of the scale pattern, we're just going over it with that light tint. Turn it around, same effect on the other side. Take it up to about the point of the fin. And then again, tackle it from the top. The reason I'm doing the red directly on is just to give that sort of opaque look with the white, you'd get rid of all the detail of the scale. Turn around again. Light fade at the top of the color.
the guy in here. And I think we're done with that for now. We could always go back, just remember under the wire though. And we've got that done there. Okay, so we've done the crimson belly. Looks quite effective. You'll, you'll notice at this stage that things still look a little bit messy, you know, but the advantage or the, the, the good thing about this is you can always neaten things up later. Uh, little areas you haven't quite covered, things like that, but just try and do, do that in the initial run with the, the colors, otherwise there's more mixing and, and cleaning up to do. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna apply a little bit of a purple overtone over the black scale there, and then we're just gonna add a few other colors, pinks and greens, and just make this quite an outlandish, colorful lure. As I said earlier, my, my kind of interpretation, interpretation of a conquistador is, is uh, bright colors. Often they wear those, don't know what they call those little frocks, those colorful frocks that are in bright reds and blacks and silver and things like that. So I think this will be quite a, a good match to that, that sort of um, uh, theme of lure. So anyway, let's get on with the purple. I've pre-mixed again, very, very thin. So an opaque color over the, the back there. And as we go along, I think it's going to take shape. Pretty camouflage against the purple mat I have here, but anyway. You had a lot of distance between the airbrush and the lure, just so you can get a light film on there. And that's pretty much all we want on there. And we're going to do the same to the other side. I think what we'll do though is add a little bit of around the eye here, a little bit of the same tone. And we'll probably darken that a bit later. Also on the nose here. Turn it around. Okay, so what I'm going to do, again, a little bit fly by night, but I'm going to add a little bit of a brighter tint, start making this lure pop, um, and just go over those areas. This will turn the purple into a, a much more uh, vibrant purple. And we'll just go over the back a little bit, and maybe around the eyes, possibly over the fin spots. Yeah, that's the color I want. A good mix. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, gonna do it around the eyes. I think maybe start with the, the spots actually, just around there, very opaque. Like so. Yes, light tints. Always helps. A bit on the nose there, I think, will be great. Bit on the back. Really starting to sort of take on depth and relief now. Let's go over that whole back with this color. Okay, we're going to spin her around. Do the same on this side. There we have both sides done, just a bit more on the tail there, I see. And yeah, looking okay so far. Get the other side. So the green I'll be using is a kind of like just off limey green. Gonna use it very, very thinned uh, with thinners. Um, just get that mixed properly. 
So where we're going to apply the green is just on this exposed silver scale here, maybe a little bit on the gills there. Um, and when that, when we coat it with epoxy, that should really pop, giving it a nice sort of, nice sort of glow. So I've a pre here, as I said, that's a bit thick. Let's just make sure it's mixed properly. That's what we want there. Okay, and from a distance again, just a light sheen. And you'll really see this lure start popping now. Put on the gill. Just on the base, the underside, the underleading edge of the gill plate. Could even have a little bit on the fin there. And it really does start to pop. We'll do the same to the other side. Same with the gill. And the fin. And she's looking quite good. Kind of looks like a ruster flag, but hey, I'm sure the fish won't be too bothered about that. So we've got all the colors on the lure. It's looking quite outlandish, but quite effective. I'm not sure if I would use it. Well, I probably would actually. I think that would be quite effective. What often happens though is as you're painting, you identify features or particular things with the paint that you envisaged which haven't quite come to life and you need to then uh, adjust them. So what I'm going to do is I think those eyes, the rings around the eyes aren't dark enough. I'm going to put a, a, a darker color around the eyes. I'm going to add a few other tints, a few very, very sort of bright uh, blues, but very opaque. Um, and obviously my, one of the things I always do is a little bit of pink to the gills. Um, I've pre-mixed the pink, um, so we'll do that now. Another thing I'm going to do is on the back here is put a scale pattern using just a, a gauze of some sort um, to lighten it up, uh, something I don't normally do, but in this case the client has asked for a sticker to be put on the back of the lure, and the color is too dark. The sticker he provided me with is black on clear, so I'm going to just try and lighten it so that we can give the, the actual writing of Conquistador a bit of relief. But for now, let's just do that pink, get that done. Again, just makes it pop a bit more. Turn around to the other side. Looking nice, even it up a bit. I think that side needs a touch more. A little bit of blue over the dot. On the leading edge of the gill plate. Just light colors like that. Turn around, do the same on the other side. On the dot. And we're kind of done as long as they match let's just check yeah pretty much just a little bit more here and yeah looking quite nice Okay, darken the spot again where you've gone over with the blue. Gives it a better relief. Around the eye. Inside the recess of the eye, remember. That's so we don't have any white showing when we put our 3D eyes in. I'll continue with the 
the dark around the eye. 